villagers of Sulal Trace Faisabad have paved the road they use for themselves rather than protest. They say the road belongs to Petrochen, but the company had not done repairs in a long time and the roadway was beginning to deteriorate. With the help of their Member of Parliament, the initiative took on a life of its own and now the villagers have a serviceable piece of infrastructure proudly built with their own hands. Marie-Therese Bernard has more in this report. When the road belonging to Petrotrin started to deteriorate, the villagers were told by the state oil company resources were tight and they could not fix it right away. Karon Yipnoy says he did not despair but believed there was another way to get the job done. With our new MP now, Mr. Lakrambodo, we saw him as an approachable person and someone that is a people person. He's not a politician to me. Uh, he's a people's person and he... Um, when we approached him last year, October, he told us exactly how to go about it. We came with a plan, how we would actually make the road usable. He says the assistance they got from contractors along with the community pitching in to provide labor helped to get the work achieved at minimal cost. We, we spent approximately 5500 or so, right, which is um, oil, sand, crush, and you know the cost of actually um, Mr. Ragbeer's um, service in, with his Baku and um, his operator. Area MP Lakram Bodo says it was a challenge, but the community worked together to get their road in a working condition. Well, this, this represents um, one of the many areas within the constituency of Faisabad uh, that are in need of repair. Um, I want to commend the residents of this community for taking the initiative. I came here, um, I, I was approached by Kiran, uh, one of the leaders in this community, in October of last year, I believe. Um, regarding this project and I threw out a challenge to the community I said let us get an estimate done and if the community can come up with half of the material and labor I will match them with half of the material and labor. With donations from contractors and the use of their equipment, monetary contributions from the villagers and their raw labor, the mile-long road was rebuilt while community spirit was also deepened. Mary-Therese Bernard, C News.